Marxism is a socio-economic theory that focuses on the exploitation and alienation of the working class by a capitalist class. According to Marxism, society is divided into two classes, the proletariat, working class, and the bourgeoisie capitalist class, and the latter owns the means of production and exploits the former. In Diddy Kong Racing, we find a similar relationship between the characters and the power relations that govern them. We see the characters divided into two groups, the racers and the bosses. The racers are made up of animals, such as turtles, pigs, squirrels, bears, and of course, Diddy Kong. While the bosses are more humanoid type animals, including a walrus, a toad, a pig, and others. From a Marxist perspective, we can view the race as a microcosm of society. In this world, the animals are the workers exploited by the bosses, who control the race's rules and decide who participates and who doesn't. The bosses are the capitalists who control the means of production, the racetrack, and the racers, the workers. Moreover, the bosses are often seen cheating and using dirty tricks to win the race to keep their power. This behavior suggests that they are willing to break the rules to maintain their power, which is a hallmark of capitalism as a system. The social Socialist theory states that the solution to the unequal distribution of power and wealth is the collective ownership of the means of production. In other words, if the racetrack were owned by all the racers collectively, there would be no exploitation or inequality between the bosses and the workers. Diddy Kong Racing, however, presents another perspective. The solution to the problems of capitalism is not a cooperative economy, but a change in leadership. In the game, the racers must beat the bosses to progress, and the ultimate goal is to defeat the evil boss named Whizpig, who is portrayed as an oppressive dictator who rules the island. The defeat of Whizpig represents the overthrow of a repressive capitalist regime and the establishment of a new leadership that is not only just but also benevolent. The perspective suggests that the solution to the problems of capitalism is not a change in the structure of society but a change in leadership. In conclusion, Diddy Kong Racing, from a Marxist perspective, shows the divide between the bosses and the workers. The bosses who have all the power and control represent the capitalist class, while the racers represent the working class. The game suggests that the overthrow of a capitalist regime and the displacement of a malevolent leadership is the solution for the problems of capitalism. Thank you.